James Grimes of Mobile is behind bars tonight, accused of fracturing his three-month-old daughter's skull. This just a few years after the same man pleaded guilty to abusing his other child. Well, tonight, NBC 15's Nicole Fierro searches for answers. And Nicole, these crimes are horrific. How was this man back out on our streets? Greg and Kim, I counted two times since 2010 that this same man was given 10-year sentences, but he never came close to serving the full amount. Tonight, a three-month-old baby lies in the hospital fighting for her life. But I can just tell you that the injuries are very severe to this child, very severe. Is she going to be okay? Um, I don't know. That's horrible. It's too soon to tell. The child suffered two skull fractures and several other broken bones. Mobile police arrested her father, James Grimes. The system failed in allowing this man, and I mean the whole system, from you know, the justice system to the parole board um, to DHR. H how did this man then be allowed to move back into a home with children um, and have the opportunity to do this? fathered another child, was living with that child, and then hurt that child. In 2013, Grimes pled guilty to abusing his other daughter. She, too, was just three and a half months old at the time. He was sentenced to 10 years for that case, but according to the Department of Corrections, served two years, 11 months and 20 days before the parole board let him off. Did, they didn't even parole him, but he end of sentence, which meant he had, in their eyes, served all the time that he was going to serve on a 10-year sentence. Um, and was a free man. The same situation Ashley Rich says also happened in 2009. That time Grimes pled guilty to shooting a man with a gun. He broke his probation and got a full 10 years, but was out in less than three. So was he on parole for that one or? No, he and a sentence that one as well. Sentenced to 20 years in prison in two separate cases, yet he served less than six thanks to the Alabama's parole board. Do you fear that this cycle will continue again with this case? Oh, I think history you know, pr has proven itself. Right now, Grimes can't contact the victim or any child under 16 years old. I'm told DHR has taken his other children away. Now tune in at 6 to see the letter he wrote a judge back in 2013. Reporting live in Mobile, Nicole Fierro, NBC 15 News.